art feeds the soul. It puts you in that better place of being a human being. Art can also be the predictor or the forecaster of where we are now and where we are headed in our culture. Think about wars, think about history, think about the art, the paintings, the music that was done during these very tumultuous times. And, and artists, they, they have their thumb on the pulse of what is really, really happening at the moment. But they can also make, as you say, these beautiful things um, that really makes us feel good about being a human being. I think I was just born an artist. I was one of those kids that in class would sit behind another child and do drawings. I was an artist to begin with. That was my career. I was teaching art and then I began working for an art gallery and became the director of that gallery and started working with a lot of artists and realizing that they too needed opportunities. When I left the gallery, I started my own consulting business and began working with corporations and private collectors and saw opportunities there to really support the community. One of my collectors was CGR Advisors and when they decided to downsize, we had built a collection of Georgia artists, more than 250 works of art. I started lobbying, lobbying with the president of the company, David Golden, let's start a museum. Took a while, they warmed up to it, they donated the collection, and David Golden became our founding benefactor. That was in 2000. We got our 501c3 in August of 2000, so soon we'll be 18 years old. Our mission is to support the artist of Georgia. That's quite unique. We're the only institution uh, that has that mission solely. The artists that are shown here at the museum bring to me and to the viewers a diversity, huge diversity. We humans are very diversified, so of course we're going to see this diversity in the art. As a curator, I've been very interested in what other artists do, the artists that do work that's very different from what I do. Uh, you ask what I learned. All through the years working with other artists and teaching, I have learned the ways that artists can express themselves in very, very different materials, different styles, and you really learn that there's quality in many different directions of expression. I'm just amazed that we were able to do this. It is a real museum. It's small, but it's a really well-organized and functioning museum. And I, I, the vision for it, I see it growing. I see it becoming more and more important. And I think it's found its niche. It's, it was needed here. And uh, it's beginning to be recognized as such. And that makes me feel very good and hopeful for the artists that will come after me and that are here now. What I really want to acquire for MOCA GA is our permanent home, a home of our own. And I'm working really hard to make that happen.